Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to my page, Jane Volante Art. My name is Jane. If you're watching this, you're probably watching the replay. Please, please, please put hashtag replay in the comments. How is everyone today? I am here for my craft around the clock segment. And um, in the comments. Wow. Wow. <laughs> let me turn that down. I don't want to hear myself talk. Um, so welcome. Okay, I see some people are popping on. That is wonderful. Please do say hello when you come. Um, I can see Kimblin and Michelle. Welcome. And Brenda. I have just squinted to see the comments here. I do have it open on my, my little mini iPad too. So um, they always show up. They always show up over there first. So I'm going to kind of get started because this might take the whole entire time. Hi, Maria. How are you? Um, let's see, Cheryl and Connie. You guys, I love to make books. Literally love it. Let me see if I can pop that back just a little bit. Thank you for sprinkling. That's so sweet. Hi, Sheila and Jerry. And hi, Tracy. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Okay, so today I'm going to get going because I'm like, I love saying hi to everybody, but I can't mess around here. I'm going to show you a really simple way to make um, what's called a concertina book. That's just a fancy name for accordion. And um, this is just one right here that I have started. I have tons of books started. So you can see the cover a little bit better. I have a lot of books started. I do. I love to work in them when it strikes my fancy, right? Um, I don't put any pressure on myself to get a book done unless it's for my book of the month in my art journaling club. Then it has to get done, right? But when I'm creating just for me, um, for my own art, uh, there's no pressure. So this is kind of what we're going to be creating today. Not this big, but what's so fun about this, you can do both sides. So you see this book is, you know, it started. It's something I work on. Um, like I said, when I feel like it. But it's a really beautiful book about botanicals. It's all about botanicals. <laughs> so um, that's what we're going to kind of start today. And when I say start, we're going to try to get the, we are, we, as in me, are going to try to get the structure done for you so you can kind of dabble with this on your own. Um, isn't it? Hi, Miss Blissful, Debbie Lee. Oh, that's so cute. Hi, Cynthia. I think Joby might be here. Cindy Kane. Hello. Oh, thank you, Lindy. Um, hi, Debbie. You guys, I just launched and I'm giving it to my art journaling club first. If it doesn't sell out in there, then I'm going to put it on my page. But I just launched. I'm having a retreat, like a real in-person retreat in October. And um, I'm so excited about it. We're making a book. Crazy. Oddly enough, we're making a book. So those of you that were watching on Lindy's um, live just now, she made a really cute shadow box. You got to go back and watch that. But she talked about my book of the month for my art journaling club for February. And I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna grab it and show you all. So this is what it looks like. You're gonna see the back that way. I got to watch them fly, right? So that is what I, um, I'm showing you step-by-step step how to make in my art journaling club. Um, the doors to that are closed right now, but you can get on the wait list. Um, and there's a pinned comment, and then I just posted a comment with all the stuff. So I also have a um, $4.99 supporters group where you're kind of new to mixed media, that's a really great place to be. I'm live on Saturday mornings unless I'm in an event or something. Um, and then I switch the days. But uh, anyways, there's a whole bunch of stuff in the pinned comments. Shelly is in the supporters group. She's here. Thank you, Cindy. That screams my name. I know you and I love those birds, Lindy. So uh, I've got right here... It's um, a book cover, and this is how it came to me. Um, the book was apparently called The Black Joke, and it was about sailing. <laughs> it's 
So that's what I'm going to use as my cover. Um, you don't have to have a book cover for your cover. You can use cardboard, any sort of hard substrate. Um, I use wood. This is wood. So you can use whatever you want. As long as it's a hard substrate and sort of protects the contents inside, right? So, okay, I don't need to look at that. So I have two pieces of watercolor paper. Oh, you know what else you can use? And this will show you that I, in fact, use it. You can use the back covers of art, art pads. So this is a watercolor pad. Um, this is what I'm using today. It's 12 by 18, 140 pound. Um, you can get these on Amazon, you know, whatever hobby store you love to go to and look for them on sale because they go for they go on sale especially in those little hobby stores um so okay i see people popping on please say hello let me know where you're watching from i know lindy's gearing up for an ice storm we are um probably six degrees with a negative wind chill in the teens and i don't need this quite yet. and um my dog has been sitting outside the entire day she does not want to come in I I know she's hating it. I do. She does. She gets so depressed in the winter because she loves, she loves to be outside. So this is not a very fancy way of measuring. Okay. What I'm going to do is just kind of um, measure this piece of paper that's on this inside cover. I know she doesn't want to come in. She's fine. I mean, I think it's crazy, but <laughs> what, who am I to say? Right. So I've got this piece of paper, right? And it's going to end up being too long, but um, I think I'm going to get three folds out of this, which is what I want. So I can put two together. I can put three together. You can make these as long as you want. You can make these any size you want, literally any size. It doesn't matter. This is just the basic structure. Watching from New Zealand. Hi, Rena. I suppose it's not cold there. It's summer there, isn't it? This is a scoreboard. It isn't necessary, but it sure makes it a whole lot easier for your papers to fold. So I just line it up with a little, with one of the scoring places. Line up my mark. And I'm just going to score it all the way down. And so it's way easier to fold them because I put a score line in there. See, super easy. I don't know what way this is going to bend, so I'm just going to fold it both sides. And then, hi, Jermaine from Eastern Canada. How is it in Canada? Freezing rain coming down hard. Now, freezing rain is literally the worst. Cindy has one, too. Oh. I remember there was a church in town here, and we had, it was like, one of those times in Wisconsin where it was like 30 below. I'm just trying to get a good measurement on this. And I can't. It's a little bit over five and an eighth, so... And listen, these do not need to be perfection, okay? You want to throw that word out the window. This is all about having fun. It's, perfection is only the constraint that you put on yourself, right? So if you're measure, if it doesn't fold perfectly, it's not a big deal. Literally, it's just a place for you to play, right? Um, so it was like, I don't know, 30 below or something. And this church started on fire and then it was like freezing rain, but they put, um, obviously they put the fire out at the church and because it was so cold mixed with the freezing rain that was coming down, which was so weird that it was raining. Um, it was like an ice forest. It was so crazy from the fire truck, you know, the water from the fire truck and then the water in the air. I don't even, I can't even scientifically explain how it would freezing rain at 30 below zero, but, you know, Mother Nature really does what she wants, doesn't she? We have no, no control over that. No control whatsoever. Okay, so I've got 
Look at that. There you have more. Let's see what I'm doing here. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm going to go five and a little bit over an eight. It's supposed to be summer, but we have had massive rainstorms here. Saw 60 mil in four days in parts of Auckland. And since we are on the metric system, I have no idea how much that is, but I'm assuming it's a lot. <laughs> Bye, Shelly. That's okay. I'm glad you stopped. Hey, Jill. Yeah, cold in Canada. Cold here. I'm not going anywhere today. My husband actually did not ride his bike today, which is quite a miracle. Uh-oh. Sorry, y'all. Nobody ever calls me. Oh, now is this not going to work? Okay, sorry about that. No one ever calls me. What in the world? <laughs> Mike was my husband. He's an avid bicycle rider. <laughs> I guess you could call him a cyclist, but he doesn't have like the regular um, road bike. He has like a bike. It's not a fat tire. It's called a 29er. And it has big tires, but not like those fat tire bikes. But he's going to the gym when it's this cold. And uh, <laughs> he was making a playlist for himself yesterday. And he likes, you know, he likes a lot of different music, but mostly he likes rock and roll, right? And the playlist he was making, I was sitting in the kitchen editing the video for this book. <laughs> I was cracking up at his playlist choice. It was really funny. All right, so I've got one panel. This has an extra little flap, and that's going to come in handy here in a minute. It was like, there was like girls singing, and it was like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Just something that I'd never in a million years would think that he would listen to. I was dying. Hi, Diane from Tucson. How is the weather in Tucson? We're talking weather today. It's been kind of a crummy weather day. So I'm going to take my second piece. This is kind of the boring part. Sorry. Take my second piece. And do my little measuring. And my scoring. I find that the little score marks do not match up with like if I want to go inch by inch by inch. So I always have to move it over. I don't I don't know if when this one was made, it didn't quite didn't quite make it for proper measuring, but I find I always have to move it. I am in Wisconsin, southeast Wisconsin. Chilly here. We just, and of course, this always happens actually. We'll get a ton of snow and it will be so dark and dreary for days and days and days and days. And then we get a ton of snow and then it gets freezing. And for the first time in like two weeks, the sun is out. So you can't really like, you can, you can if you dress properly, but you can't really like go out and enjoy that sunshine that, you know, I've been missing it so much. It's so dreary. Good thing I have an art studio with lots of lights in here because I understand why people get that. Listen, what is it? Seasonal affective disorder? Is that what it's called? I, I get that. It is dreary. One last little mark here, and then I can move on. Janice. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> I knew what you meant. 58 in Tucson. I would take that in a heartbeat. You're having crummy weather in Arkansas? Oh, the whole country. And somebody said... I think it was on Lindy's live. They said it was like 72 where they lived. I'm like, oh, that sounds really, really amazing. So, Lisa, what's up? Is Ahmad, is Ahmad gone? Has he taken off yet? 
Okay, so my very super precise measuring, um, I'm gonna go come down to here and I'm gonna make a little mark down here. I'm gonna have to kind of fold this. I wonder if it'll go through. Probably, probably not. What am I thinking? Am I going the wrong way? Yes, that's okay. I'm gonna cut this to here. It'll make it easier. It'll make it easier and we'll cut off some. So this is a large piece of paper, right? Doesn't necessarily fit the right way in my cutter. But never fear. I have a knife. I can get it out of its little container. This is a cutting surface underneath me. Um, so make sure that if you're going to be doing this, that you're not going to be cutting something that you will regret cutting. So if you have a smaller piece of paper, you can just take care of this in one, one swipe. Um, in your paper cutter. My pencil's not exactly sharp either, so I'm gonna just move this over a touch. I usually just cut small sections at a time. I think it's easier. So um, I know Jill has. Has anybody? Hi, Carolyn. Middle Tennessee. Dreary and foggy. Yeah, Lindy is in that uh, that freezing rain area. Has anybody else made a book? He is in air. That's good to hear. Hey, from Texas, Miss Jennifer. I love craft, two craft therapies in a row. Whoever would have thought, Lisa. Same in Mississippi, zero degrees. Oh, you have such a beautiful place, though, Sylvia. Your yard is like so amazing. Okay, so see how this is gonna work. So this is going to be in here. And the book is going to open. I know I have a bone folder somewhere. I'll just use this. So you want to take a bone folder. This is the little thing I was using with my scoreboard. Just make sure that everything is nice and tight. And this way, it fits right inside the book, right? So <laughs> it's upside down, but do you get the idea? So when you open it, it's going to open like this, and then it will pull out. Does that make sense, everyone? Y'all, y'all get that? Time is it? Okay, I have twenty-five minutes. Let's get. I may not get the other piece put on here because that just take, took so long to cut. But um, basically, I will attach it this way, the same exact way. Let's see. I think I might be lying to you. No, that's fine. I can attach another tab. So I'm going to attach it here with the tab, right? It'll be doubled. You can make it smaller, too. I, could, I might even cut that in half. And so it just, all you have to do is attach them together to include maybe. Right here. Right. That one's gonna fold this way. 
So I'm going to put this to the side and let's just attach, let's attach this to the cover. So let's do the outside of the cover first. A lot of times with these, um, you know, depending on what you're covering it with, you need to put some kind of primer or some kind of paint on here. Um, but I am going to use one of my papers that I make. So I love to make collage papers and just papers in general. Um, I teach all of that in my art journaling club. Um, I, it's in the link to all of my stuff. Oh, look at that. Not anymore. Um, hold on, Lindy, I'm seeing a question. I am making a book. Oh, that's terrible, Lindy. Yeah. Hi, Marie and Peggy. Welcome, everyone. So um, I was going to find, I have a pinned post due. And it's up here at the top. And all of the stuff, you see that on there? All of the stuff is in there. Okay. So um you can get on the wait list for my art journaling club right there. You can join my supporters group, which is $4.99 a month in there. Um, that's if you're brand new to mixed media and you really just want to start learning. We're doing some fun stuff in there. Um, and then my art journaling club really is all of my step-by-step -step things for all of just the, the fun, beautiful things that I make. So these are like butterfly wings. I'm thinking about using these on the inside of the book. This one is too... Can you see those? I, this one just makes me want to create. So these, I just grabbed these papers that have similar colors because I like these. This one's just plain fun. There's more butterfly. I love this one, but I think I want to make that an entire like big cover on something. I just love that one so much. This one I'm absolutely positively in love with too. But I don't think that's the vibe. I don't think that's the vibe either. I think, I think. So I also have um, every Friday, I send out a newsletter that has free printables in it. And last Friday, I sent out this printable. Now I have printed it out on a piece of transparency film. Um, but if you want to get my free printables with my newsletter every Friday, there is also a link in the pinned comment. Um, that uh, you can sign up for that too. So to get to the pin comment, it's usually, depends on what you're watching on, but it's usually at the very top of the comments or if you're on your phone, sometimes it shows up on the bottom and you can just click, all the links are right in there. Um, the principles are free. I give them out every single Friday with a link to a project. So last Friday I said, you know what? I don't have a link this week, but I'm gonna use this on Tuesday. So. Um, if you sign up now and you actually want this uh, dragonfly print, just um, you'll get an email saying, hey, thanks for signing up and just reply to that and say, hey, can I get that um, dragonfly printable and I'll make sure you get it. So I actually was thinking this one. Now, this is just like, you know, it's, it's obviously flowers, right? But what I love about it more, like all these little marks that are in here, they're just so, so pretty. And I thought that i'm hoping that i don't need to paint this you got your dragonfly hey diana how's australia today so this is going to go on top of it like that and i actually think that's really really pretty i had it on top of this too but i kind of like the other one better well let's look at this one though <laughs> that's too wild that doesn't match the brownish. This one matches uh, the brownish. Nope, I definitely like the first one. So I'm in love with this paper, you guys. <laughs> Literally in love with it. And you know what? You're going to get a little, a quick step-by-step -step of that on um, February 5th on the Stencil Girl Instagram page. That a little step-by-step -step is going to be on the Stencil Girl Instagram page on February 5th. So I am one of their, um, I'm on their creative team. So I get to use their stencils all the time and make cool stuff. All right, so you see how I'm uh, measuring this time? 
This will actually fit in the paper cutter, so that'll be good. Cool weather at the moment for January. Well, I'm, I can't believe it's February already, but um, all I want to say is that, like, I, I'm grateful for every day that I'm here, but I don't like February <laughs> at all. February is the bane of my weather existence, uh, especially for Wisconsin. So. <laughs> So while I'm grateful to be a part of it and to be actually experiencing how much I dislike February, um, <laughs> I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. So yeah, my cut was off just a little bit. <laughs> of course. Did you see how I measured it? Yeah. I don't measure. I'm not a math fan. Um, I do art. I don't do math. There's no math. Although every math class I took in college, I got an A. I'm a little bit of an overachiever, though, let me tell you. <laughs> a little bit. So, oddly enough, I will keep these little scraps because I might be able to use them for something else. Especially throughout the book. Who knows? Who knows what's going to go in this? Yeah, me and my cutting skills. See, now a little bit of the book is showing, so I'm going to have to put some washi. Why do I always do this? <laughs> That's okay. I probably wanted washi. Okay, so I could paint this, right? I could paint it white underneath, and then you wouldn't see my horrible cutting job. Or <laughs> I could just put washi over it, and it'll cover it all up. Hi, Tony. Love the blue-green. Me too. That's what I'm really loving about this. So, and then this can go on top. It kind of mutes it a little bit, but um, I don't mind that. I could also go into Photoshop and remove this brown, you know, assumed brown color book cover color see that on there and I might do that so a transparency you just put on with glue I'm going to put it on with my um yoohoo my good old yoohoo um, but I may not put it on with you now because um I kind of want to take that brown out now that I'm thinking about it Hey, Regina, I'm just glad you're here. Thanks so much. I always like when creators need to fix something because it helps me to know when I go. <laughs> yep. Oops, happen all the time. I'm, I'm horrible at measuring and, you know, I don't, it just is what it is, right? So here's some washi. <laughs> I do crack myself up. How much washi I have? Now, this one is kind of perfect. I have one that's a little, that same color, but a little bit wider. Hey, don't roll away. This one, but I like this better. See the, can you see the colors on that? Kind of perfect. Time is it? Oh my gosh. Like 15 minutes. Well, that's okay. If I can get the, the I'm just going to go with that, I think, because I don't want to dig and dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. I do have this. I still think I like this one better. <laughs> there is something in my cover that is turning, and I obviously did it. It's probably pencil shapings or something. I, pro I think what I did is I didn't have a garbage can nearby, and I was like, I'm going to use this cover. Look at how dirty it is. And it keeps getting my glue all full of dirty. Nobody said you had to be super neat to be a creator, right? Lord knows. Especially when you're right in the middle of like you're in the vibe, you know, you're in the flow and you don't want to have to stop to figure stuff out. So you do, you make do, you do what you have. So I'm using my Yoohoo, it's a dry glue. This is just gonna make this process go a lot quicker. 
Um, I'm not going to have to get out my heat tool. I do love my decoupage gel um, that you can find on my website as well, especially for thicker papers like this. I do hope you'll consider um, joining my uh, supporters group. It's $4.99 a month, literally less than the cost of a cup of coffee. You can join from anywhere in the world. Um, you know, if you can't be there, I understand. If you can't be there for a live, but you can always watch the replays. You do also get a discount at my shop, my online shop. So I'm using this um, little tool is like a bone folder so I can really smash all that down. I'm just going to cut this little part off. If you are using a craft knife, you need to make sure it is super sharp. Otherwise, sometimes your, you know, your cuts turn out real jagged and you don't want that. All right, this is really pretty. I just love, it's like amorphous flowers, right? They're really pretty. I'm just trimming. <laughs> Sticking me. Okay, Always make sure you close your knife before you go and move on to your next task because those suckers are sharp. They are sharp. Where is the start to this? Washi, this is so cute. Perfect colors. Hey, Pat. You love the dragonfly with this color? Me too. Oh, <laughs> that must have been an extra piece. Well, let's put that on the bottom. That'll be really cute there. Okay, so even though washi, now fabric washi is a different story because that stuff is really, really sticky. Even though washi is tape, it's not going to stay forever unless you glue it. You got to glue it. And I'm going to wrap it around the edge so that we don't see the brown anymore. This is a very thin piece of washi. So whatever I decide for the inside cover here, I want to make sure when I cut it that it covers... Actually, this is covering all the brown, so it's not that bad. And I'm just gonna pinch the washi together at the end. <laughs> it's cute. So I will repeat that, but look at how that finishes the edge. Just so nice, doesn't it? Scissors. Ooh, 248. I should have time to get this washi on and to secure my edge into here. I might cut that in half though. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, washi. <laughs> How can you order just the dragonfly that I was showing? Are you talking about this? You can get on my free printables list. And then when you get that email, you can email me and say, can I have the dragonfly you were using? Because this came out um, last week. This was in my free printables newsletter last week, Friday. But I can still get it to you if you want it. The link to get on the printables list is in the pinned comment. So that means it will always be there. So if you don't see it while you're live, you can go back out when this live is over and come back to it. And um, you should see it there. You can get, you can access my supporters group from there for only $4.99 a month. Get exclusive content 
and it's not super um it's not super confusing right because there's a lot that goes on in mixed media art there's so many techniques um my art journaling club really teaches all of the everything i am an art supply fanatic I use all of my art supplies, and it's my goal to get you using all of your art supplies, too. The supporters group, we're just kind of dabbling our toe into mixed media, learning what it's about. Um, learning Right now, we're learning what it takes to make a successful composition. Um, all things beginning mixed media art. But the link for the printables is in there as well. A link to my website is there. There's all kinds of links in there. <laughs> all kinds of links. So I put them in one place while you're here. I don't want to make it any harder than it needs to be. My fingers are starting to get really sticky. So this isn't quite covering the brown on this side, but it looks pretty here, so I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, I, um, hi, Miss Vintage Daisy. What is your first name, friend? I feel like I should know that, but I'm terrible with names. That is one of the things that I'm just horrible at it. I don't know what it is. Just bad at, bad at remembering people's names. You've watched several of my YouTube videos. Oh, and thank you. She said I was an excellent instructor, y'all. <laughs> thank you. No, I do love to teach. Um, I actually have a master's degree in adult education. Um that's on the bottom because I ripped it a little bit right there. So I might just let, leave that, let it dry. And then I can always put a little dab of paint or something down there. Cover that up or another little piece of washi. So speaking of YouTube, I do have a YouTube channel. I don't show any major techniques on there. Um, but I do show really fun and easy projects that anyone can do. Jane Vellante art. Kind of the stuff that I do here, you know. Nothing too complicated. Keeping it fun. Tomorrow I'm going to be right back here on Craft Around the Clock with my friend Lisa Ahmad. I'm going to show her how to use mica powders actually. It was at 515 Central tomorrow. Friday, I'm going to be live on the Paint Pixie page at, I want to say 630 Central. Her name is Michelle. Thank you, Tony. Thanks for being here, Michelle. And I didn't pull over super far, but it's okay. I'm really just worried about the front cover right now. The inside cover can get embellished later. I'm just pinching now. See how pretty that is? It's a, and it's wonky and off, and I don't care. <laughs> this is going to be on there. I am going to take the brown out of it, though, I think. I think I'll like it better if it's just white. Or, you know, a clear background. So maybe I'll make a little reel when I'm making that so y'all can see how this goes on. Maybe I'll do that. I'll, I'll print this and make a little reel and I'll post the reel later on right here on my page, Jane Vellante Art, so you can see how I glue it on. Um, you know, and it's transparency film, just like when we were kids, 
well, when I was a kid, I know a lot of you will, will know. Um, uh, the overhead projectors that our teachers used to use in class, um, it's that exact stuff, that exact transparency film you can buy it. I buy mine on Amazon. I've seen it at Target um, as well. I'm sure they have it at any office supply store. I have a laser jet printer, so that's what I use. Um, and then the, uh, I would always just recommend a laser jet. I know that ink jets are cheaper and a lot of people have ink jets, but, um, for art, you definitely need a laser jet. Um, I have heard that you can spray your ink jet prints with hairspray before you use them in any sort of collage situation. Um, I don't know if that would work on a transparency, but... The problem is the ink reactivates when you are using it with glue. Um, so that's why the laser print is a toner base and just doesn't do that. Cute. Cute, cute. What do y'all think? You want to learn about makeup powders? Cool. It's going to be fun, too. Me and Lisa tomorrow night right here in the half around the clock Facebook group. Oh, my goodness. Get off of me. All right. So let me just make sure. I see this one barely even made it over, but that's okay. Um. And you know what? That is really okay because that is exactly where this paper is going to go. You and Lisa are always a good time. <laughs> and we all like to have fun, don't we? It's fun. It's fun creating together. It's fun creating with a friend. Um, I'm gonna cut, I think I'm going to cut this halfway off because that's fairly big. So then this is going to go right here. And so when you open your book... It'll open like this and then I'm going to attach that other side onto here so I have six panels and then it is reversible as well so let me just cut this in half I have three minutes okay I better not cut it in half I'll just attach it's okay that's fine it's fine I have three minutes I'm going to use Eileen's tacky glue. You need a strong glue, especially when you're using watercolor paper. Ah. And I usually just kind of use the paper to spread around the glue, make sure every little bit is covered. And then I'm putting it, I have just a hair off the edge. I'm going to use this little guy. And so then I will put a piece of paper on top of this to cover this whole thing up. Want to make sure that edge is down. You may need a little bit more glue in there. But in essence, that's it. You see that? So this will be the cover. And this is how it will open. Isn't that fun? Fun. So I will attach, I'm going to take the color out in Photoshop. And then I'll do a reel later showing you how that goes on, just like that. So essentially, I will end up with a book. Front and back cover that is similar. No, I don't think I'm going to do this many panels. But it's reversible. So that's this whole book that I'm making right now is reversible, just like this one. Isn't that fun? 
I love it. I love making books. Um, I love mixed media in general. I hope that you will consider um, hanging out with me here on my page, on my YouTube channel. You can join my supporters group for $4.99. If you really want to dive deep and you're like, you know what? I love this so much. I want to learn more. Get on the wait list for my art journaling club. All of that is in the pinned comment. Um, I can pop it up here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Tita. Tita is in my um, supporters group. I didn't see you hop on here. Thanks for coming. Uh, you love Eileen Stacky Glue. I know. I know. Time does fly, especially when you're live. Hey, Royce. Hi, Karen. I didn't see you guys come in. It was so busy. It was very, very busy. <laughs> busy creating. So that's it. Three o'clock. I got to go. I'll see you live Friday night and look for that reel later on tonight. Um, attaching that transparency. And thank you so much for being here. Have a good day.